What's up you guys, this is Jack here for another fire alarm video. And today, we have a video on all of these. Now you're probably wondering why I have all these out. Well, because today's video is on all of my favorite pull stations in my collection that I own. So to start off with, oddly enough, we're going to start off with the RSGT bars. The reason why these are my all-time favorite is if you remember, back in 2011, I uploaded my first video, and that pull station was an GE rebranded RMS-1T that was single action. This is an AIM Security RMS-1T KLLP dual action lift and pull pull station. It's metal, it has the key, it's very well built, and the reason why these are my favorite is because they're built like a tank, basically. They're cheap and easy to afford, and they're just nice. They're simple to operate, like this. They, it's very simple. Just do what the instructions say on the handle and the cover. Lift and pull. The next pull station we have is the Honeywell S464A. These things are so nice. They're made of metal, like the RMS-1T, and they're very simple and easy to operate. All you do to operate it is pull it down. They're also kind of cheap on eBay, too, right now. My next pull station that's my favorite is the FCI MS2. These things are my favorite because, like I said, they're nice. They're made of metal. This one's actually made of aluminum. And to pull it, you lift it, and you pull it. My next favorite pull station are the Simplex 4251s. This one actually belongs to Fire and Alarm 1234, which is my friend Alex. It accidentally came home with me whenever I was coming home from Arizona on my trip. And these things are nice because they're built well and they're plastic, but they're nice. My next favorite type is the B5. This is the one that goes to my Aegeus. Let me pull it down by lifting the handle and pulling it down. Next one is the BG10s. These things are awesome because they're very user friendly, very nice classic pull stations. You push in and pull down, they make a nice sound whenever you pull them down. Next favorite pull station, I'm gonna have to pull them over here because my phone's on the charger, is the SIGAs. These things are awesome. The conventional ones are actually more expensive sometimes than the addressable ones, but that's okay because you can convert them to a conventional, conventional, my bad, like this one. This is an ADT SIGA. So you pull it by lifting the handle and pulling it down. Next favorite pulls are the BNGs. These things are so cheap. This one does not have a button in it, but I'll put one in it later. And these things are so simple to operate. I'm not going to pull it because it's really hard to pull. Next favorite pulls are the SDs. These are the SD500s. I, these are what my high school had. And lastly are the BG12s. Now, if you're a fire alarm collector, one of your favorite pulls has to be the BG12. These things are so nice, so well built, and so common. They're so easy to operate. Push in and pull down. And that is why these video, these pull stations made the cut on the video on why these are my favorites in their own special way. I hope you all enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I will upload this after I'm done resetting all of these pull stations.